This is why I pretty much never use my Facebook page. I'm a trans woman. I have 14,000 followers on my page, but it's useless to me because every single time I post anything, this is the kind of shit that I get. Just, just comment and comment and comment. Some of them are nice, you know, this sign of thing. Thank you, Wendy. But like most of the comments are this. So, you know, this person, you can't see it at the top there because it was hidden. But it was it was making fun of me for being trans or for looking like a man. And, and I said, I'm a trans woman. And this person came back with some some really terrible things. And and they were obviously trying to be vague about it so that they wouldn't get in trouble from reporting the comment. And so I just I'm calling them out on it and just trying to clarify what they're trying to say so that I can report it. But I realized it doesn't matter. It, this is not a new realization for me. But just to be clear, it actually doesn't matter because there isn't a way to report it. Here's what happens when you try to report it. For example, this comment here, you put 1% effort into transitioning and expect me to put in the other 99%. Obviously, they're making fun of trans people. It's a tag group. That's what it's for. That should not exist on Facebook. There should be a way to report that and get it removed from the site, but there isn't. Let me show you what happens when I try to report this person with the KFC logo. So I click on this. I can hide it. I can delete the comment and I can block the person who posted it, but that's it. I can't report it. There's actually no way to report this comment. Facebook doesn't even have the function to let you do it. All these people, I can ban them. That's it. Who laughed at this? I can ban them, but I can't do anything else. There's no way to report this to Facebook. This person right here, you know, this thing. I, I, there's, there's no way to report it. There's not even all of these that I, that I already hid that were like obviously transphobic. There's nothing I can do. I can just ban these people make multiple accounts and they, you know, they share these to their turf groups. And I get hundreds of comments like this every day, every single day. And it doesn't matter. There's no way I can stop it. There's nothing I can do. So I just don't use my page. So I'm making this video to show you all and to show Facebook why I don't use this platform. And when you have a platform that, you know, earns money by being as controversial as possible, when they post stuff like this, when it pisses people off and I post about it and my friends come to my page and they defend me and then these people come in and they attack me, Facebook makes money. Facebook makes money on every single page view. They have a financial conflict of interest in banning people who are controversial from their site. They make more money when people get harassed than the other way around. And that's the bottom line, literally. That is what they want, is to make money. They are not interested in protecting their trans users. I can say this for an absolute fact because I have consulted for Facebook. The engineers care and they listen, but there's nothing they can do. They have absolutely no authority and no power to make any changes in this regard. The only way, the only way Facebook will ever actually do Anything is if the negative public relations going on about a specific story, like some kid, you know, trans kid committing suicide or something like that, when specific stories get negative PR attention and their stock price is affected, that's the only time that they make any changes, any changes. The engineers may not do anything that affects the bottom line otherwise. It's absurd. They have no interest in protecting their users only in making money. This platform is terrible. If you want to follow my work, if you want to support me, I highly recommend that you head over to my Patreon instead. When I put up work on my Patreon, when I put up content on my Patreon, I make money, not Facebook. So if you want to support me, please do that. My average pledge is about $6.40 a month. Those people who support me on there, it's not even a hundred of you, you, you literally make it possible for me to survive. I, I don't even make, you know, $550 a month, but it's, it's literally what pays my bills. It's literally what puts food on my table. I really appreciate my Patreon supporters. You can go to my Patreon uh, and become a, a, a patron today. All you have to do is go to patreon.com slash Danielle Moscato, and you can read all about it. There's different tiers. If you're interested in just doing a one-time, you know, helping out my work, you can also do that on PayPal or on Venmo or on Cash or any of those. Uh, it's just Danielle Moscato on all of them. But yeah, so if you're curious why I don't post more on Facebook, why, you know, maybe once a week I did this post for International Women's Day. 
but you know, maybe once a month I put a real post on there, but it, there's just no point. It's a, it's a waste of my time because it's just harassment over and over and over every single comment, maybe, maybe 3% of the comments are not harassing and I, there's no way to report it. And, and I'll, you know, it's, it's a waste of my time to just go through and ban people and ban people and ban people and ban people because there's a never, a never ending stream of hatred on this whole site. And Facebook doesn't care. They legitimately do not care. And I know this for a fact because I have consulted for them and I've seen it myself. They literally don't. Unless they're losing money, they don't care. So yeah, this site is terrible. I encourage you to go to other platforms, specifically my Patreon. <laughs> but but really, don't support this site. It, it, they don't care about trans people. They use and exploit trans people's suffering and misery to make money. That's all you need to know. And, and yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry that, that it's like this. I've tried to talk to them. They know that this is messed up. The engineers know that this is not sufficient, but they have no authority and no power to do anything about it. It's unless they're, unless they're able to make more money for Facebook by making a change, then they don't get to make the change. And that's the bottom line. Thanks for listening. Again, please check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash Danielle Moscato. If you enjoyed this video, if you're getting any information or any use out of this, uh, I'm a, I'm a full-time Patreon funded, uh, civil rights activist. I give speeches on trans issues. I talk at medical schools. I organize protests and demonstrations. I work with feeding unhoused people. I do a lot of great stuff. You can read all about it on my social media presences that are not on Facebook. Um, and, and I could really use your support. Thank you for, for your moral support. Thank you for your financial support. Thank you for, for talking about this subject because not enough people are talking about this. I hope this has been a useful video for you. And I'm going to go ahead and, and just, you know, delete and, and ban all these people. And I'm going to, I'm, you know, that's the only time I even get to actually see their name is when I ban them. It doesn't even show me in, in the app here what it is. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is, this is the, the amount of power I have o over this. There's nothing I can do. I can just ban them and that's it. So, okay. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.